Hi everyone, my name's Kia and I'm a content creator here at Smell Acura. And I'm not really a car person, but I really wanted to check out this 2021 TLX. So join me on my first drive. So the first thing we want to do is take a look at this exterior. So we have a complete redesign. Uh, we have the big Acura emblem right on the front, the diamond grille. We also have the jewel-eyed LED headlights with the LED strip lighting across the bottom. 19 inch alloy wheels. We also have the majestic black pearl exterior paint. If you look close at the paint color, you can also see that there are little flakes that reflect the light pretty well, so it almost looks like it's sparkly. So along the back here, we have the TLX badging. We also have the super handling all wheel drive badging, the nice Acura emblem with the rear view camera in the back there. And another cool thing is to open the trunk. There's a little button right on the head, the tail light right here. So you just push that button and the trunk opens up. So inside the trunk here, there's a good bit of space. Getting into the car, we have the keyless access system with smart entry. So as long as you have the key fob somewhere on you to open the door, all you do is put your hand behind the handle and the doors unlock. And to lock the car, you just tap these three ridges here and it will lock the car. You'll also notice that the power folding mirrors fold um, closed when you lock the doors and open when you unlock them. All right, let's check out the interior. So the first thing that we notice on the inside here are these black leather seats with this white trim. They look really sharp. The sport seats uh, really fit nicely into the vehicle and the leather feels super soft. So on the door, we also have this um, leather with the white trim, with the white stitching. Um, and there's also this, these nice chrome accents across the top with uh, the wood grain feature around the door handle, which looks very sharp. So in the middle here, we have this nice big armrest. And on the inside here, there's a good bit of space. You could fit um, something in here if you needed to. There's also uh, two charging ports, two USB charging ports an auxiliary outlet and a 12 volt power outlet as well. Also in the middle console here, you get two cup holders. And this is my favorite thing. We have this wireless charging pad. So if you just set your phone down here while you're driving, uh, your phone will charge. Above that in the center console, we also have the Acura True Touch touchpad. Um, and it has this here so that your hand sits really nicely. It's very easy to access. And as you cycle through each different option, the pad makes a little vibration, which is the haptic touch system. The system also runs Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which is very nice. Um, Bluetooth as well. So up front here, you have dual climate control. So one side does not have to be the same as the other. Each person can have their own um, temperature that they want. We also have heated seats up here. So the steering wheel here has a lot of buttons. On this left side, we have our sound button. So this power button will turn the audio on and off. Of course, this little switch here is the volume to turn up and down. You also have the button to use if you want to use voice commands. Up here is the heated steering wheel option. And here's a back button, of course. This app button displays all your apps on the heads up display. On the right side, we have our safety features. So we have cruise control, your reset and set button. We have lane keep assist and your adaptive cruise control, which lets you adjust the distance between you and the person in front of you. We also have a sunroof in the front here and to open it, you just push this button back and it opens up and forward to close it. And there's also a shade, of course, if you'd like to have it closed. So getting into the back here, the leather seating continues with the white stitching. We also have um, the air vents back here with heated rear seats. And in the middle here, there is an armrest with two cup holders. And on the door, we have these chrome accents, again, with the leather and the white stitching. Now let's get this thing on the road. So to get started, we have this electronic transmission. So all the buttons are here. We have park, you pull it to put it in reverse, push the N for neutral and drive. You push this button here. And if you push it again, that puts the car into sport mode. 
So the first thing I'm noticing here is this heads-up display. So right now on the windshield, I can see my speed. You have reached your destination. It's on your right. And there was some navigation information up there too. So we also have a navigation section here. So you can search things that are nearby you. Gas stations, coffee shops, restaurants. And you can do all of this right from this touchpad down here. So the button in the middle here is for your driving modes. And it looks like there's three different driving modes. There's comfort, normal, and sport. And those are just for different drive experiences throughout the ride. So we do have a two liter engine and it produces 272 horsepower. So a safety feature that I'm noticing is a lane keep assist. So if I start to drift into a different lane, um, the steering wheel vibrates and it slowly pushes me back into the middle of the lane. So here it vibrates the steering wheel and you get a little alert on the screen as well. So now we're trying out the adaptive cruise control and with that if you set a speed for your cruise control and a car in front of you starts to slow down, the vehicle will slow down as well and you won't have to worry about pushing the brake or anything of that sort. Um, also, you can select the distance that you want between you and the vehicle in front of you by pushing these bu this button right here at the bottom. Uh, and on the screen, you can see that um, the animated car moves closer as you push the button, just to show that um, you want to change the distance between you and the car in front of you. So with the blind spot monitoring system, if there's a car in your blind spot, you'll receive an orange light right here that lets you know that there's someone in the blind spot. And if you try to turn your turn signal on while there's someone in your blind spot, the car will beep and the light will flash as well. So there's also a backup camera. So when you put the car into reverse, you get the full 360 aerial view and the straight backup view. And there's also predictive lines. So when you turn the wheel, it will tell you where the car is going to end up, which makes backing into a spot a lot easier. So you can also change what's on your screen while you're backing up. So here we have the split screen. You have the aerial view and the view directly behind you, or you could take that aerial view away and you'll just have what's directly behind you. And with this view, you'll also get an alert if there's a car passing behind you. Um, on either side, so if there's a car coming while you're trying to back up, you'll get an alert so you know that it's not safe to continue. So that was my first drive of the 2021 TLX Advanced Model. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment, visit us at smellacura.com or right off Route 30 in Greensburg.